Well, spring appears to finally be here, but some sports fans literally can't wait for the fields to be ready. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, we put Shane Lee back to work as he visits Garrison for the annual softball and ice tournament. If poet Ernest Thayer were in Garrison this weekend, he may have written, The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Iceville 9 that day. The temperature read 22, but the team still wanted to play. This is fun. Play softball all year round, it's great. Love the game. Seven teams gathered in Garrison this past weekend for the 33rd annual Softball on Ice Tournament. Maserati has participated for the last 14 years. All the teams are fun to play against. It's just get out, have fun in the middle of winter. Getting out in the winter is one thing, but recording an out can be difficult. The players in the field waged constant war against the slippery surface. Don't run too fast because you'll fall. Wasn't expecting that quick bounce. I mean, that ball comes down and it's going to skip on you pretty hard. and You almost got to get lucky to stop it. Besides the icy surface, another major difference today is the ball. The 16-inch ball is much softer than a normal 12-inch ball and doesn't go nearly as far. Swing hard. It's a kitten ball. It's huge. Swing hard. Pitchers are encouraged to let everyone swing hard. A male batter receives two bases on a walk and the woman on deck can either hit or go to first. The rule exists because the batting order alternates between the two sexes. You could intentionally walk a guy to get to a girl and it would be a little bit unfair, especially if there's a weak girl hitter coming up. Another special rule allows women to wear softball gloves, but the men can only use their hands. The fielders need to make adjustments to how they play. It's like a football, you know, just catch it here, you catch it here, use your chest, just cradle it in. It's a big softball. And somewhere men are laughing and somewhere children shout, but there is no joy in Iceville. Mighty Casey has struck out. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.